Uh, for this webcam video, we'll be doing uh, Wireshark Lab 6, which focuses on internet protocol. Uh, now, for this one, um, we have to do a trace route, and as I have a Windows, um, I don't have the proper trace route installed prior on my computer, so I had to um, download Ping Plotter Standard, which is what we will be using. Uh, however, I chose not to buy the software, and for some reason, my free 30-day trial it promises me uh, is not working. So I am instead um, having to use, uh, every once in a while, uh, we're going to have to pause for a minute just until it allows me to uh, remove the free software. Uh, so for this one, I'm going to just start up my um, YSO capture. And then go ahead, and uh, I'm going to use Eastern Connecticut. Edu, uh, which is my school, and he's already been told to set the number of times to trace to three. Uh, then we go into the options, and originally set the packet size for 56, uh, which is in bytes. So we're going to do the trace, uh, this is what I was talking about, just have to select it later. Um, so we get this trace that comes up, and we see uh, that the packet is captured. Over a pin packet for capturing unfragmented um, on Wireshark. So then we have to go back into pin chatter. And we're going to run it again, but this time we're going to set the window or packet size to 2000 bytes. And we say okay and it runs again. Uh, this time we should see a uh, fragmented. Uh, just two fragments each, one fragment, one more. Echo ping request. Um, for the window size of 2000 bytes. And then if we're running again, this time for 3500 bytes of uh, requested, we should see three fragments. Uh, so we'll resume the packet capture. Uh, and again, we'll see three fragments. So now we can go ahead and stop the capture. Uh, the only thing we can also explain is how we can tell the So if we go back up to the two fragments of the other one, uh, we have our fragmented protocol. Uh, and we can see the way the flag stuff the whole fragment. Uh, in the first byte, and it's also 50 to 150 bytes now. Uh, and then if we go down to just the next, we just go down to the next um, packet, which is the second packet. You see the flag for more fragments has been turned off. Uh, the total length has decreased to continue on the length of the um, the length of the packet. To finish out the length of the packet, and we also see the fragment offset has been set to 1480. Um, so these are the two differences, uh, or these are the main differences with the uh, 2000 version. You'll also see the identification number uh, is the same between the two, and the two the packet. Uh, and you'll also be able to note that the um, Header checksum should change between the two. So on this one we have zero uh, x e e e five, and on its uh, associated fragment we have zero x zero e e one. Now if we go down to the three fragmented thirty five hundred byte packet, uh, we can see that in this um, packet the first fragment has more fragment flag set as well as the second fragment. However, the third fragment no longer has its uh, bit set. You can also check yourself the fragment offset changes uh, as more of the packet has been received. So on the first fragment we have a fragment offset of zero, the second fragment has an offset of fourteen eighty, and the third fragment has an offset of two uh, twenty nine fifty. Uh, we can also see that the header checksum should change between all three. Uh, the header checksum is 
one of the other things that's happening between the three are um, the life. You can see the first two fight with about 1,500 fights in life. The third is nearly 540. Again, it's just because that's just what you're doing. In the past, the two full size fights are the third fight. The last one is going to be a bit smaller uh, because of justice carrying whatever's left over. Uh, for the packet. Uh, you can see the rest of the associated sessions with this lab um, and further documentation on my blog. Thank you.